So today we're going to be talking about trim means, and the first step is to understand why we would want to trim a mean to get a trimmed mean. So basically the very extreme sensitivity of the mean to a single outlier is one of the main reasons that we want to trim a distribution, right? So the way we get a trim mean is first we have our distribution. So I have 25 values. They range from 1 to 110, right? And what you want to do is you want to order the data values from smallest to largest. Then you want to delete a selected number of values from each end of the order list and then average the remaining values. So I've done the first step here. I've ordered every single number in this uh, distribution from smallest to largest, right? And um, I found the mean and it was 40.06, so untrimmed mean. Forty point zero one six, right? And I mean that's pretty good, but as you'll notice, most of the data is concentrated around the thirties, right? You have your a lot of twenties, you have a lot of thirties, you have some forties, but you have a lot of outliers both on the lower end and on the upper end. So let's trim the distribution to find the trim mean. So let's say that a problem asks you to find the 20% trimmed mean. What does that mean? <laughs> That's funny. Um, the 20% trimmed mean. What this is asking is it wants 20% from each end of the distribution, right? So um, if we find 20%, 20% 20 of 25 is 5. So you want to take off 5 values from each end of this distribution, right? Suppose this was something like a 10% trim mean, right? Something that isn't really great. 10% of 25 is 2.5. Now, what you can do here is you can round up to the next integer, right? Because you can't take off 2.5 uh, values. What does that even mean, right? You could take off 3. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. But let's do this 20% trim mean. So like I said, um, the way you find the number deleted from each end is this fancy dancy little uh, equation. Number deleted from each end equals trimming percentage times the number of values in the distribution. So we've got 20% and we've got 25 values, which like I said is 5. So you want to take 5 values from each end. And this is another, it's from each end. Sometimes people get confused, is, oh, do I take 5 total? Well, think about that. Does that really make sense? No, you would take 5 from each end. So, let me find my black pen. If you take off 5 values from each end, you get rid of this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the lower end, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now already you can see that your data is going to be less swayed by these outliers, right? And I've calculated the mean with this trim mean, or with the trim distribution, which it's just how you calculate any mean. You add up all the values and you divide them by um, how many values you have total, which um, keep in mind that because you trimmed five off from each end, you're no longer adding up everything. Uh, it's an addition sign. You're no longer adding up everything and dividing it by 25. You're dividing it by 50, right? You took out five, you took out five. Five plus five is 10. 25 minus 10 is 15. So I added them all up, and our trimmed mean, our 20% trim mean, ended up being. 34.066 with a line over it, right? And you can see that this trim mean is a lot less sensitive to the outliers, right? And that was the whole point of doing it. We wanted to find what our mean would be if we didn't have all these random um, values on the end. Now, um, sure, 20% is really big. You want to keep your trimming percentage between 5 and 25%. If you go any more, you're kind of getting rid of not just outliers, but maybe important 
um, data in the um, in the set. So keep it between five and twenty five percent. Let's say, for example, that the problem asks you to go backwards. What if it says something like, if you trimmed off three values from each end, what is the trimming percentage? Alright, so we know we have this equation, right? So why don't we just, you know, multiply stuff across, or divide stuff across, right? That's how, um, that's how simple it is. You simply do number deleted from each end divided by n times 100. And that should make sense, right? So, with 3 deleted from each end, it would be 3 divided by 25. Notice we're using um, all the values, the untrimmed number of values in the distribution for this um, calculation. And then times 100, because here you're getting a decimal but your trimming percentage should really be between 0 and 100. So, that ends up being 12%. And that's how easy trimmed means are.